Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Just so you know, this will be a little bit of a different video, but interesting nonetheless. Since we still have with us the EVGA's GTX 960 super super clocked model, which we recently reviewed, we were thinking about comparing it with the just released R9 380X, which is for now one of its main price competitor. Although the price gap at the moment between the cheapest non-reference R9 380X and the cheapest non-reference GTX 960 comes to around $40 to $50, in some cases even less, when we are talking about the current generation of direct competitors, this is as close as it can get and I assume that many of you are curious to see how they compare to each other. The price difference can be even smaller if you buy the non-standard 4GB version of the GTX 960 since it's more expensive. In our case, the EVGA's GTX 960 had 2GB of video memory and that goes in favor of the R9 380X since the reference amount for it is 4GB. The smaller amount of memory somewhat impacts the performance when using higher resolution than the 1080p, but more on that later on. Taking a quick glance at their basic specifications, you can see that the R9 380X has wider memory bus, fair amount more of co-processors and textural units, although you cannot really compare CUDA cores and stream processor directly in an apples to apples way, but you can get a rough picture of the potential power that they have. All in all, generally speaking, both series cater to majority of mainstream users who are searching for a good and capable 1080p graphics card, which is leaning more onto higher 1440p or 1600p resolution. Before I comment any of the benchmarks and their results, let's first check them out without me blabbering over them. And just for the reference, this was our configuration on which we did the testing of the cards. As we all witnessed here, the R9 380X has more than obvious advantage over the GTX 960 almost throughout all benchmarks. It was kinda expected to be this way as R9 380X has more horsepower to begin with just as we mentioned it before. The performance difference between it and the GTX 960 measures from 10 to 30%, on average just around 20% in 1200p testing, while in 600p it was a bit higher, from 15 to as far as 50%, on average around 30%. As you can see, the 2GB of video memory on the GTX 960 was fully topped off in 1600p benchmarks, which was an obvious outcome and which was bottlenecking the graphics card in getting better results. If you get a 4GB version of the GTX 960, you'll probably close that performance gap and shave off the difference for about 5-10% to when it comes to 1440p or 1600p resolution, while in 1080p you won't probably experience any substantial gain. Although the R9 380X is on average around 20 to 30% faster, have in mind that the price difference is also around 20 to 30% in favor of the GTX 960 on this date. Last but not least, I know that this won't bother most of you, but this kind of information can also help someone in their buying process. As a last observation, I just wanted to point out that the R9 380X is overall a warmer card and draws almost 60% more power in load than the GTX 960. That's it guys for this time, I'm going to wrap this one up, thank you once again for watching, I hope this helped you in some way, if not tell me why or leave a comment down below if you have any questions in regards of this topic. Also feel free to tell me if you would like to see me do this kind of comparisons more often, maybe for the next time I could do the GTX 970 versus R9 380X or some other combination of graphics cards. Of course if you would like to see more similar content like this one you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.